Hi everyone! Welcome to our Friday Craft Corner. My name is Kat and today I'm sitting in front of beautiful Lake Cleone and McCarriker State Park. And today we're going to learn a little bit about a shorebird that we have here in McCarriker. That shorebird is the Snowy Plover. Yay! Before we really get started, I want to remind everyone that we do these live streams every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as part of more home learning opportunities available to you. If you have any questions for me during this program, please feel free to leave it in the comments and I promise we'll answer those as quickly as possible. So I want to make sure that everybody is staying safe, happy, healthy. So without further ado, let's go ahead, learn a little bit more about snowy plovers and today for our craft we're actually going to be making a little snowy plover model for you to have at home so what you need is here let me go ahead i'm gonna get all my supplies right there for you all right so what i have today i have clay toothpicks beads for eyes you can use googly eyes if you have any at home glue, paint or markers, some water for my paint, and cotton balls. All right, let's get started. I want you to pull out two cotton balls. One and two. With your first cotton ball, that's going to be the head of your snowy plover. Now, snowy plovers are very, very small shorebirds. When they are just hatched, they're only about the size of a grape and fully grown, only about the size of a small lime. So these models are actually pretty close to their actual size. All right, so go ahead, take your first cotton ball and, uh oh, that's gonna blow away. And I want you to roll it so that it's nice and small because that's gonna be your snowy plover head. Just like that. Next thing you're gonna do is take one of your toothpicks and break it in half. I know you're all strong enough. This is gonna be the beak of a snowy plover. Now for all of our coloring, all the snowy plover coloring, that's gonna be done after we put the model together. So go ahead, you're gonna put a little bit of glue on the very end of this toothpick. Come on, buddy. There we go. And you are going to twist it into that first cotton ball, your snowy plover's head. There we go. So now you have your snowy plover head with its little beak. It has that nice long sharp beak so that it can find little shrimp and crustaceans in this sand. That's what it eats. All right. For your next one, you're gonna take your two other toothpicks and put it in the larger cotton ball. These are going to be your little plover's legs. And again, you're just going to twist it right in there. Once we get it all put together, feel free to add more glue. It's going to help your snowy plover from falling apart. There we go. So snowy plovers are great little birds, really amazing. They don't really create nests like a lot of other birds do. They lay their eggs in indents in the sand. So if you have one big takeaway today about snowy plovers, make sure you watch where you're stepping on the beach. These little birds need some help defending themselves and they're very good at blending in. So always watch where you're stepping on a beach. All right, now that I have my body with my two legs, that's where my little bit of clay comes in. I'm gonna go ahead and stick my little snowy plover legs right in there. And snowy plover looks a little scary without a head right now. Let's go ahead and fix that. You're gonna take your glue and make a little dollop right on the top. You're gonna take your snowy plover head and glue it on just like that. You see how our little guy is starting to come together? Now, 
one of the things I did for my little snowy plover guy here is I kind of stretched out that cotton ball so we can have a little bit more of a tail. So I'm going to go ahead and try to stretch out that cotton ball a little bit. And again, if you feel like you need more glue, feel free to put it on there. I'm using a white glue that dries clear. That works really well for me. All right, our little guy is just about ready. Let's make sure that our snowy plover is able to see if people are approaching. We need to give our little guy some eyes. Now you can do this either with paint or with markers. Today I'm gonna use some little beads. These guys might be a little bit difficult to put on there because they're so small, but I'm sure we can manage. There we go, I'm gonna put a little dot of glue right there. one of our beads. There we go. Now, there's really only one more big step left, and that's to decorate your plover. So let me show you again what plover coloring looks like. You see you have that nice brown back with a black beak, brown legs, and they've got this really cool, it almost looks like eyeliner, doesn't it? But the fun part about arts and crafts is you can make your plover look like this, or you can use tons of fun colors. One of my favorite colors is yellow, so I used yellow on my other plover. I'm excited to see what you all do with yours. So, there we have it. This is one of our shorter crafts. And yes, Steve, I think the birds think I am going to feed it, but it won't because it's bad for them. So this is one of our shorter crafts, but it leaves you with a ton of time for decorating. And I know I would absolutely love to see what your plover ends up looking like. So feel free to post it in the comments on this video. You could post it to our Facebook page or even with the hashtag PortsFanArt. That's going to be Ports, P-O-R-T-S, Fan Art. And if you look at that hashtag, you're going to be able to see a ton of other really amazing art that other people are making at home right now. When it comes to our adorable little snowy plovers, our best way that we can help these guys is to make sure that we're watching where we're stepping when we're on the beach. Because they blend in and they're so tiny, we make sure that we keep our dogs on a leash and we watch beach signs to see where we are allowed to go and where our pets are allowed to go. Some good rules for you all to remember when all of our beaches open back up. I can't wait to see your art and thank you so much for joining this Craft Corner program. I hope you are staying safe, staying happy, and staying healthy.